All right, so fellas, if you were here during the direct, uh, I said that I was going to do a ranking of every single Nintendo game that was ever made. And so I loaded up this tier list fully expecting to do all of this. It may shock you to hear I did not complete this list. <laughs> but what if there was another way that we could do this and make this work? Welcome to Uwu Fufu. Uwu Fufu is a site. Don't go there without the ad block on. Go there with ad block on. What they do is they have a bracket. You can have a World Cup bracket of every single Nintendo game and have a 128 round bracket and pit them directly against each other. All kinds of random matches, and we're gonna do this to find out what is the number one greatest Nintendo game of all time. So, uh, fun fact, and this is for some of you in the chat. So, we sometimes have talks about Banjo-Kazooie versus Banjo-Tooie, right? You guys know how I feel. Banjo-Kazooie uh, Banjo is uh, an instant classic, and Tooie is one of the worst games ever made. Banjo-Kazooie is on here, and it's number 17. Right above Brawl, right below Pikmin 4. Banjo-Tooie is 125 out of 128. It is below Duck Hunt. <laughs> Nobody likes Banjo-Tooie. Nobody enjoys this game. Hey, by the way, before we keep going, like the video, right, guys? Like it. You're going to like it anyway, so you might as well get out of the way. Otherwise, you might forget. Can't have that. Right, guys? Yeah, they all said yes. All right, let's get started. My mic arm broke. How did that happen? Dude, I don't... Dude, I literally don't know how that happened. Oh, this feels unfair. Snap was so good, but you can't compare it to this. It's got to be Galaxy 2. It has to be. It's, it feels weird to do because the novelty of Prime is... Ooh. I'm, uh, ooh. ooh. <laughs> and this is where the controversy begins. Fellas, listen. I played Metroid Prime 1. I've never played 2. Thought it was kind of boring. Thought it was kind of dull. And I watched my wife play Animal Crossing New Horizons for like three months during that COVID period where everybody was off work, but we didn't realize the world was changing is before our eyes. This game uh, holds a very special time in my heart. <laughs> and this game came out and it's like, wow, everything's going to be okay. And then it fucking wasn't. But for a moment, it was great. Oh, man. Everybody hates on 8, but I kind of like it. If for no other reason than it gave us this... <laughs> You know what video I'm finding. Shake it up, Mario. I need a demonstration. Shake it up for me, Mario. Shake it up, Mar- <laughs> Oh, jeez. Jeez, Mario with the glove on? Funny bit, but it's X. I don't play Pokemon. Every Pokemon has seemed the same to me for a while, other than Arceus. So I'm going Mario Party. Now, when I said every Mario Party, every Pokemon game is the same, uh, it's all based on this one. Version bleh. I think there's a reason we never got a Golden Sun 2. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> straight up. Oh, man. And here, already? Already, huh? Number 6 out of 64, we're here? Mm, I'm not going to be an asshole. Come on. No, obviously this is better. I will never upvote a land game. Any game for poor friends that's on a mobile system, I do not enjoy. World games, W. Land games, L. Every time. Same with Donkey Kong. Don't like land games. That's true. The only difference is Wario. Because Wario lands are good and Wario World was not. Coney hates poor people, I guess. You don't have to guess, brother. <laughs> ah, it's Donkey Kong, right? My wife plays this like once every three years and she 100%s it. And it takes up like two months of her life. She can't be wrong that many times. She married me. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Okay, this is a fully fletched out RPG experience, but I had a lot of fun when I played this. I had a lot of fun. Have you guys not had three other friends playing the, the Find Me game or whatever it was called? They had a tank skit. I mean, it, it's Mario and Luigi, right? But Nintendo Land is very good. Wow. Do you promise not to be mad at me? You have to promise not to be mad. I'm not going to click unless you promise not to be mad. I'll end the stream. I think Dread's a better game. I think Dread's a better game. I, I think I think Prime is very good. It is so good. But it's old, dude. It's old. I think it aged worse than Sunshine, worse than Luigi's Mansion, worse than Melee. But maybe I just don't like Metroid? This one, 
If you asked me a week ago, I might tell you guys uh, that this one was easy. But I want to show you guys a screenshot of a purchase I made yesterday. I bought this game. <laughs> I really want to play F-Zero. But, 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 I will say, for the sake of just the ingenuity and the amount of stuff here, it has to be Mario Maker 2. Mario Maker is a marvel. I will always vote against New Super Mario Brothers. Just get used to that. I'm always going to vote against that. I hate it. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, this one's easy. I will say, I had a lot of prejudice against Mario 3D World when it came out. Because I thought it was like 3D Land. I was like, wow, this is boring. These levels look shitty. And then I played it with Bowser's Fury. I was like, wow, this game is very good. But it felt like a Mario game. Nothing is like Pikmin. It's not Pikmin good. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Who did this seating? I w they should both die. What are you talking about? I told you, I already made a rule. I will always vote against new Super Mario Bros. So Mario and Sonic clear. Sonic is so cool. <laughs> well, well, well. It's gonna feel good. <laughs> Light work, no tip. Is it mad easy, bro? Fun story about Wii Sports. Uh, Wii Sports, showing Wii Sports to old people was one of my, it was like my fourth job. I worked at a, at a mall kiosk when the Wii was coming out. And I was like 17 or 18 at the time, and I showed old people how to play Wii Sports. Did they like it? They loved it. I knew that shit was going to blow up because every old person loved bowling. And you would have two people, like, doing the boxing thing, and dude, it was a revelation. It was so fun. I'm gonna assume this means City Folk, which is the Wii one, which means Banjo-Kazooie wins. However, I will say, the Wii version did come with a little microphone, a little speaker, too, like this. And, uh, my wife and I were dating at that time, and we both bought this, and we would visit each other's, uh, islands and talk to each other, and it was very cute. I remember those times fondly. It's a shit game, though. Binge because we clears. Awakening is fantastic. Nice try. <laughs> you will not convince me of this. I'm not wasting any time here. Oh no! I want to cancel this. <laughs> I don't want to do the rest of this, dude. Smash 64 is outdated and you know it, but it spawned the franchise that basically gave me my life. You got to understand that. If, if Smash is never invented, and I never go to a Smash Brawl tournament, and I never become a commentator, I never become a streamer, and I never go into this life, like, I wouldn't be here. You get what I'm saying? It changed my fucking life, dude. But this is legitimately, I think, one of the greatest games ever made. This game is fantastic. I don't, I don't even know how to, like, I don't even know how to articulate it or explain it. This game is so fucking good. This here is Coney's Sophie's Choice. Dude, yeah, this is fuck. But I have to go Strikers. I have to. Dude, Animal Crossing. Straight up, right? Mario Kart DS is supposed to be good. No, it's Animal Crossing. No, it's Animal Crossing. No, 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 no. Again, invented a genre. I think, I think the fact that everybody is saying it's Mario Kart is a testament to my 5% female audience. If we have more diversity in the audience here, then maybe we would have more Animal Crossing votes. I think that's the problem. No, we go Animal Crossing here. I think their voices should be heard. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right, hold on. I'm not kidding. I think Kirby's Adventure is a fantastic game. Now, I've never played Xenoblade, <laughs> but I've seen cutscenes. That's your goat. That's your favorite game, bro. <laughs> I think we go Kirby's Adventure here, and I will hear nothing more about it. Case closed. Dude, it's literally chipping. Every time I bang it, a piece comes off. It's a fucking baby toy. I know somebody is screaming at their TV right now. Somebody's watching this on YouTube after the fact and is screaming. <laughs> I'm gonna phone a friend on this one. Your chat is full of people who hate RPGs unless they have Mario in them. One, that's not true. Xenoblade was actually voted my uh, my chatter's favorite Nintendo franchise. Two, I know you saw that mar that that tweet. Everybody's talking about that Mario tweet. I don't think that's true. I don't like normal RPGs either, unless they do something different. Oh, it's just like every other RPG. No, it's not. You can't put Triangle Strategy, Octopath Traveler, and like Paper Mario in the same thing. They're not the same, especially if it's like a fantasy game. If I'm a wizard or a mage or a barbarian or something, that's so fucking cringe. I wanna jump on their heads and tap the A button when I land. This one's even worse. I said I was gonna vote against every new game, and now we have new, but it's not even Mario, it's a Luigi new. Dark Moon sucks, is it that bad? Whatever, I'm going for it. I like Luigi's Mansion, I think it's a neat idea. 
<laughs> the Banjo Tui Slayer. I think it's Kirby. Duck Hunt old, bro. Really? Why can't? Why do they act like two legends can't coexist? Why do they fight? Why is it Donkey and Diddy? What the fuck is their problem? Also, this isn't close. You don't think so? I don't think it's close either, but I don't think it's in the direct. I don't know what direction you're going. I could see people fighting both ways. This is in my top five games of all time. I think Donkey Kong Country is a fucking masterpiece. <gasps> oh, this is fucked up, dude. First Donkey vs. Diddy, now Mario vs. Luigi. This isn't fair, man. Uh, mansion clears? No, it doesn't. Odyssey's better. Luigi's Mansion is excellent, especially for what it was at the time to go in such a weird direction. But Odyssey is so good. Odyssey's fantastic. Oh, this feels bad. This is my favorite Mario Kart. I miss old Toad so much. I miss this 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 style of render. If my stream had like a vibe or like a brand or something I would do, I would get somebody that's proficient in Blender to just make me shit like this. But I think Sunshine wins. No, I think Sunshine's amazing. And and again, like I, I put a high premium on novelty and creativity and Sunshine just straight up does it, bro. This is the first Pokemon game I've liked in years. I don't even know if Arceus is good. I just, I liked it. I, I think this one's easy. Luigi's Mansion 3 is very good, but bro, it's... Come on. You know what? I would give it to Luigi's Mansion 3. I would give it more credit if not for that fucking cat elevator section. That cat elevator thing was one of the worst things I've played in games in the last decade. I mean, come on, right? A fox in space wearing people clothes? How are you going to beat that? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I've never liked Star Fox. I like 64. Here's the Kingdom Partners in Time. I don't fucking care. Time travel shit, I think, is lame. So we go Tears of the Kingdom. Which I think is time travel shit, doesn't it? Ah, oh, I'm too late. Hey, what other game could survive for a decade, right? This one is still topping the charts a decade later. It wins. You know, this is the good one. Because Super Mario Party wasn't great, but Super Stars is very good and it has online. Not great online, but good online. Prime 3, best Metroid? I already talked about the Prime games. I think they're boring and a little slow. So we go party. Party rules. L. <laughs> L Metroid. Fa Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god, dude. Holy shit, man. I mean, it's Ocarina of Time, but... You think so, Chatter? Do you really think that's true? I don't think that's true at all. I think it's super fucking Mario. I think Ocarina of Time is very good. I played it for the first time like three and a half years ago. The playthrough is on my channel. Great games. Great games. Maybe it's just by virtue of being on the 64. I feel like the 64 aged worse than other consoles. OG Mario did not age well either. I disagree. I could play this game until I die. I think that's a great game. Ocarina of Time is good, but like, it's gotta be Mario. It has to be Mario. <laughs> now, to be fair, I do hear that the Oracle series is great, but arms nice. Arms nice, bro. What do you mean? Huh? Why? Why? Why do you make me make this choice? I love both these games for different reasons. One of these has Ochi. I think Ochi makes the game worse. In four, you just run into an enemy and it just dies. I think I like three more from a gameplay perspective. Like the challenges in three are so fun because you, there are so many things that are going on at once and you have three different captains, which normally I wouldn't like. Pikmin three is excellent, but there's one moment in Pikmin four that I will never forget. That Olimar shit in Pikmin four blew my fucking mind. It's four though. All right, now we get into round two. Now we're in round two. Splatoon 3 versus Zelda. Uh, Zelda has to be. Zelda changed the game. I'm not even a Zelda guy, but I've never played any Splatoon either. Zelda changed the game, dude. Chat. <laughs> it's actually Paper Mario. No, because Dread is very good, but and I said this when I played it. Dread feels like a supersized Game Boy Advance game. It feels like a Game Boy Advance game that got given human growth hormone. Thousand Year Door, I think, is is timeless. Like, as much as I do think it's overrated, I think it, I can see why people love it. Oh, here comes the chat. Here comes, somebody said this game was perfect earlier. Does Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story have MC Ballyhoo? 
<laughs> it actually does. No, it doesn't. I, I'm not going to believe you just because I've never played this. Mario Party 8 was the first Mario Party on the Wii, and so the developers had to come up with new creative inventive ways to get the motion controls to work, and I think they succeeded. Uh, here, let me show you what I mean. There's actually a video. Check out this game for Mario Party 8. <laughs> the fact that he, he gets off that screen so fast makes me think that it's Mario controlling the Wii Remote. Like, he's showing everybody, okay, here's how we play. You gotta shake up the can. And this is how you use the remote. Oh, Jesus. Uh, okay, and let's start the game. Let's start it off. Here we go. Let's start it off right now. Uh, it's Galaxy. No, it's Galaxy. Animal Crossing wins this easy. Skyward Sword, people say, is the worst one. <laughs> Two games that have aged terribly for different reasons. I think just by virtue of aging better, Donkey Kong wins. I think it did age better, if only because it's not a, a walking corpse. You know, this one, I feel like, deserves a bit more thought. I mean, it is blue. It is Pokemon, but let's not, you know, let's not downplay the achievements of Mario Maker. Being able to make a, a, a Mario... Making a Mario game where you make Mario games. What a concept, right? But this game started like a worldwide phenomenon, right? Ooh. Yeah, this one's interesting. So Sunshine is longer and definitely has more novelty. Kony seems to value legacy a lot. Kind of. I, I value... It, it's one thing to make a great game for its time, right? Make a, make a game that, like, changed the world when it comes out. But it's another game that... It's another thing to make a game feel timeless. I think that Sunshine is so sprawling, there are moments that are... There are moments where Nintendo's ambition outreaches its competency. There are some times in Sunshine where it's like, you really wanted to make this boat thing work, right? Like at the end of Sunshine, that boat level, you're like, you really wanted to do this boat thing. You didn't do it well. You could have thrown it away, but you really wanted to make that happen. I think Kazooie top to bottom is a pleasure. I never, I could play Banjo-Kazooie every year until I die and 100% it. Mario Sunshine, I would get the blue coins and I would want to throw myself off a bridge. So we go Banjo-Kazooie. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at that. Oh, dude. Oh, man. You're screwed either way. I, d I don't feel like I have an informed enough opinion to do this. I'm bowling this one. This is in your hands. No way. The maskers have it, bro. Don't ever say your vote doesn't matter. You know the crazy thing? There are 2,000 people in this chat and only about less than 500 people voted. You could have changed the world. This one feels impossible to do. Ultimate is a miracle game. No, I agree, but this feels impossible to do without like more years and time to, and time. I think I'm, I would give it to Ultimate just by its sheer ambition. You're right, it is a miracle game. The amount of shit in it. The amount of stuff and content and just things to do is absurd. It has to be Mario. It has to. Like, GX is great, but it has to be Mario. It's Super Mario, dude. Now, I haven't played F-Zero GX, but I will. I'll check back in a month, okay? <laughs> oh, shit. It's, it's a hydrogen bomb versus coughing baby. <laughs> oh, my God. How did this happen? What a weird matchup. Fellas. Hear me out. What is the best game in Wii Sports? The best sport in Wii Sports is... That's right. Boxing. Do you notice how everybody said boxing? Everyone said boxing. Now, what is ARMS? If not Wii Sports Boxing, take it to the next level. The answer is clear. I feel like a lot of people just clicked off the video. A lot of people. I, I'm going to see my viewer retention just... <laughs> I'm just saying, will Tears of the Kingdom be around in 10 years? Only one of these games can put the system on its back for a fucking decade. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's gotta be the, the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe game. <laughs> Whew. Uh, Cody in a tight spot. Do I vote with my head or with my heart? Mario Odyssey, I think, is the best 3D Mario game. It's huge, sprawling. I love the idea that, like, I actually love all the moons. But I've played a lot of 3D Marios. 
I've only played one Mario Strikers Charged. This game is unlike anything, and I really mean that. Bro, just pick Charged already. Stop stalling. Where do you think you are, first time chatter? You just walked into the fucking saloon and told the, the, the guy at the piano what to play? Why don't you go take a break, all right? I'll see you on Tuesday. What the hell is this guy doing? All right, but no, he was right. I'm picking Charged. <laughs> he was right. He was right. I was just explaining my reasoning, okay? Ooh, this is hard. Well, not for me. <laughs> Maybe for you. I bet this is hard for the... U I bet the people watching this YouTube video are like, Oh, man, what's Coney gonna do? This is so hard. Look at these two... No, it's not hard. But I, I do... I could see your trouble. I mean, it's Tetris, bro. Coney, you're old. <laughs> Why is that your response when you see these two games? Tetris is considered by many to be the best game ever made. Everyone can play Tetris. Yeah, it's Tetris. Galaxy's very good, but it's Tetris. Ooh, okay. So now we get to stop talking about all that bullshit about legacy and history and which game deserves to win. Now I get to tell you what's up. Now, at this point in the, in the rankings, all these games are good, right? We know all these games are good. They're great games, whatever. But now it's just personal preference. And it's Mario. <laughs> Zelda is boring and it takes too long, and I don't know where the fuck I'm going. I need a map or a walkthrough, and that shit sucks. Mario 3, go right. Uh, you know what? I'm kind of relieved, because the Mario, the Paper Mario guys can't be mad at me. Hey, bro, it's just, it's objective truth. Spawn the most profitable media franchise of all time. I can't, you can't be mad at me. <laughs> Ooh, that's hard. They ain't remaking 64. <laughs> They should. You know what? I told you that these were going to be biased picks. I love the N64 uh, collectathon genre. This is if somebody made a joke about collectathons and made it real. And it's that. It has to. You know what? This one, I'm sure, like, seems hard, but it's it's not. It's not. I think it's Donkey Kong Country. Mario Party 1 kind of sucks. I don't really care. <laughs> one, I like the first Mario Party. I actually really like it. But two, I I think it deserves some some leniency for creating a fucking genre, right? It's Mario Party. Oh, dude. My Scrimblos! Oh, no! My two Scrimblo games! I think moment to moment, Banjo-Kazooie is better. But I think Yoshi's has the higher peaks. It's Banjo. It's Banjo. It wouldn't be fair for me to pick Donkey Kong 64 and not pick Banjo. It's Banjo. I hate to do it. I hate to do it. Oh, no! No! Oh, my God, dude. Uh, all right. Pikmin is a perfect game, but I think Mario 64, even with its flaws, is better. But Pikmin's weird, and I love it for that, for being weird and different and goofy. But 64 is like, you can't deny it. You literally can't, and I feel so bad about it. Vote with your heart? I can't. I can't. I said before, could that keep selling a system for 10 years, right? I mean, but could Mario Kart Deluxe be selling a system for 22 years? I, I, I maybe, actually. <laughs> I think it's Melee. It would, it would be wrong for me to say Earthbound now, wouldn't it? Because Mario knocked out what, I forget what it was, but it was a really hard choice before. Ocarina of Time. <laughs> Mario Bros. knocks out Ocarina of Time, but I'm like, well, I mean, but Earthbound, though, that would feel kind of fucked up. Oh, <laughs> it's charged. Mario Party 8 kind of sucks, actually. They had all these shitty, like, motion control gimmicks. The boards are awful. It's not a good game. It's very bad. Uh, it's my list. Animal Crossing. Eat shit. It's Animal Crossing. <laughs> Fellas, hear me out. Why are you no no knowing? <laughs> the, the no 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 is so funny to me in the chat. Ah uh ah, -uh, no Coney, not this time. I can't find a way to spin this. I really can't. I think Arms could have beaten another game maybe, but not Ultimate. Ultimate just is better. <sighs> Sequel versus Originator. Ultimate clears. I'm sorry. Yeah, but Mario Party created fucking Mario Party. It's Ultimate. I don't like saying that, but it's Ultimate. Yeah. Oh, we're getting into the... Okay, here we go. S top 16. We're getting into it now. This one's easy, right? This one clears. Banjo-Kazooie... Donkey Kong 64 is like Banjo-Kazooie if it was dipped 
in the forced evolutionary virus from Fallout. I know that's a deep cut, but it's basically a thing that turns you into a super mutant. It's just like bigger and dumber and uglier. That's what Donkey Kong 64 is. Hey, it's my list, bro. And hey, you know, you know, I may be, I may be a boomer. I may be a little bit older, but I remember popping this into my NES at daycare and playing for six hours. I, it's, it's three, bro. It's still my list. And even though I said that this won earlier because it changed the game and everybody loves it, nothing is Mario Strikers Charged. Nothing is this game. There's nothing like this. It's soccer. It's fucking not. It's charged football. And you will never know the joys of playing Mario Strikers Charged. Perfect online, by the way. Perfect online is Mario Bros. Oh, PM though. Oh, I forgot about PM though. You can play Mario Bros. inside of Brawl. <laughs> Wait, that's true. Wait, but which one is that a point for? I think that's a point for Mario Bros. because the legacy. Actually, Chatter, you turned it the other way. You fucked it up. You guys are going to be mad at me. I think you guys might be mad at me. I think Kirby's Adventure is a fantastic game. It's like a it's a great experience. I, I'm, I'm just I'm just being honest. I've gone back and I've played Kirby like once a year. Melee... I don't really touch. Just me. Just me. My list. My list. Ooh. For me? For my list? Coney? It's Donkey Kong. It's Donkey Kong Country. I think it's a perfect game. Straight up. Wow. Wow. Former best-selling game of all time versus highest grossing franchise overall. I'm not kidding with this either. I think it's Pokemon. Because, and, and hear me out, I'm the way that I'm thinking about this, Pokemon has spawned Pokemon games and Pokemon Snap and, like, MOBAs and all this other bullshit. It's, it's, it's affected the world, the real world, with merchandise and marketing and all that. I think it's, like, I think both of these are worldwide phenomenons, but one is just kind of, like, it popped and then it, it's still here, but it's just kind of there in the background. This thing is still breaking records every year. I'm going Pokemon. I think culturally it's a bigger deal. <laughs> so Kirby killed Melee, but <laughs> I, I really do think Ultimate is better. I'm just trying to think of how to explain it. Coney, don't bother. I agree. I mean, Ultimate is everything, man. Ultimate is fucking everything. <laughs> Mario or Mario. You know it's a Coney stream because his top five is Mario, Mario, Mario. Hey, Mario be making good games. What do you want me to say, bro? Dude, I, I, for me, for me, Coney, the little man that lives in your, the, the normal average man that lives in your screen, it's Strikers. It is. Dude, this is getting so hard. Oh my god. This is getting impossible, dude. I think it's Mario 3. No, I think it's Mario 3. <laughs> Which feels shit. Mario wins again. I think it's Mario 3. It's kind of funny that I picked Pokemon over Tetris because I talked about the uh, cultural conversation. Meanwhile, Donkey Kong hasn't had a game in a fucking decade, and I'm still gonna pick him. <laughs> I mean, I know which one I'd rather play. I know which one I'd rather play, straight up. Again, Ultimate is incredible, has all this stuff in the game, how did they do it? Uh, but it, 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 it's not charged. Which one changed your life more? <laughs> I mean, definitely Ultimate, but... This one feels bad. It's Mario? It's not. It's Donkey Kong. I think Mario is probably objectively a better game, but I like Donkey Kong. Top two. This, to me, is an argument of permanence versus ethereality. Donkey Kong Country is a permanent fixture, right? It's it's one of the greatest games I've, ev I've ever played. One of my favorite games of all time. Perfect game, right? Five out of five. Strikers is one of the best games I've ever played against other people it represents a time in my life i can never get back because the servers are down there's nobody playing donkey kong country is always there for me it's in my closet right there i have the cartridge i have it on the switch but strikers is just a memory it's a feeling i think that that is more meaningful to me i think i think mario strikers charge is the best game nintendo's ever made one by being dead. Kind of, yeah. Donkey Kong is gonna live on forever. Donkey Kong Country is... It'll always be there. But Strikers was... 
a period in my life I can't ever get back, and you can't ever get back. 